Well, welcome to this drug testing kit and UK drug testing joint presentation on how to perform a urine panel drug test. We're going to demonstrate this with one of the new UK drug testing 7-in-1 ultra sensitive drug tests. This is the packaging that they are presented in. Most drug tests will come delivered in a foil. Some will have instructions on the rear, others may not. Uh, this one, once it's opened, what you get is a little bag of desiccant and a panel drug test as you can see here. Now, to perform this test, when you're ready to do so, you have a sample of urine collected. This is just a isotonic solution to demonstrate how the test works. But when you're ready to do so, you remove the panel cover and that shows the prongs which are then dipped into the urine sample now the urine sample needs to be probably around two to three centimeters of depth at any one time and in a suitable container that is wide enough to take the drug test panel now what you can see happening there as soon as this panel is dipped you'll see the pink dye starting to run up through the results windows and that shows that the wicks are working properly and that the fluid is being absorbed. Usually it's required to be dipped for between 5 and 15 seconds. As soon as you see dye going up all panels, you are probably okay to remove it from the sample and then it can be replaced into its cover. Then place the sample panel flat and you wait for the panel to react for the manufacturer's recommended read time. Now for most panels this is between 5 and 10 minutes. So we're going to now stop the camera and then demonstrate the results windows and how to interpret your results on this particular panel at the 5 minute mark. Well welcome back and we're now 5 minutes from dipping this panel test and as you can see we've got a nice set of results showing here. Now, you'll note on this particular design of card, we've got a double test line in the right-hand column. And this is a particular feature of this design. Some panels will have five results windows on the front and five on the rear. Some will have six on the front and six on the rear. Some combinations where you've got seven or nine panels may have five results on one side and two on the other. So do always check the reverse of the card in case the design incorporates a dual sided panel. But let's work our way through this particular panel for you. At the top of each of the results columns you've got the drug abbreviations for that particular column and you'll see on the right hand one where we've got a dual it's split between cocaine at the top and OPI opiates at the bottom. Along each control line area you've got a nice firm red control line showing in each results window. It's very important that the control line is there and present and strong, indicates that sufficient urine has been absorbed by that wick and absorbed well beyond the test line areas. And then for the interpretation of the results, that between five and 10 minutes, you're looking for the presence or absence of a test line. A present test line indicates a negative result. If there is no test line showing at 10 minutes in the presence of a control line, that is a presumptive non-negative or positive result and that needs further interpretation to find out why it is not negative. But this particular test, as you can see in this example, all the test lines are present. As expected, this is a completely negative sample result for this drug. Very easy to do, very clear and easy to interpret. The UK drug testing seven panel combination in this includes some ultra sensitive test membranes that are screening at the industry cutoff levels currently available for rapid testing. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this useful. The links in the YouTube video will take you through to the various websites where these panels are on sale currently. Thank you.